live blood analysis, and electrosmog. We can learn much by looking at our blood under a microscope. This short video shows a macrophage, which is like a vacuum cleaner, engulfing bacteria among red blood cells. I decided to find out what my blood looked like. I pricked my finger, placed a drop of blood on a slide, and looked at it under the microscope. This is what I saw. The cells are round, some are separate, and a few are sticking together. Overall, fairly healthy looking blood. This testing was done in a clean electromagnetic environment and I did not eat or drink before or during testing. I then worked on a computer for 70 minutes and looked at my blood again. This time, the cells are sticking together like stacked coins. This is called rouleau formation. Later that day, I used a cordless phone for 10 minutes and looked at my blood again. And this is what I saw. Very unhealthy looking blood. There are virtually no single cells. Most of the cells are now in rouleau formation. A doctor told me this is what she sees with cancer patients. What I learned is that my blood goes into rouleau formation when I use a computer or a mobile phone. This type of clumping interferes with the release of oxygen and the removal of waste products like carbon dioxide. The capillaries are so narrow that red cells must squeeze through in single file, showing the importance of their elasticity. What are the consequences of rouleau formation? Poor circulation resulting in lower oxygen transport to cells and reduced waste removal. What are the symptoms someone may experience? Headaches and fatigue, difficulty concentrating, numbness, tingling and cold extremities, and possibly heart and blood pressure problems including risk of stroke. What is the significance of this? Live blood analysis may be a good diagnostic for electrohypersensitivity. For more information about electrohypersensitivity, visit www.electrosensitivesociety.com.